Hello. Previously, we concentrated on configuring the inputs to the Linmont drive. In this video, we'll talk about configuring the outputs. So just to review, we've connected our switch on bit of the control word to our X4 pin 3. We've connected our home bit to X4 connector pin 4. And we've connected our error acknowledge bit to X4 connector pin 5. Now we're going to configure some outputs from the drive. For example, the drive is now homed, and we can tell that by the status word being 1. But how do we tell the outside world? How do we tell our PLC that the drive is homed or that the drive is in error? To do that, we have to configure discrete outputs. So we'll go over to the parameters, motion control SW, drive configuration, X4IO definitions, and we'll start on pin 9. So we'll click on that, and now we will attach that or map that pin 9 to the homed bit. And there it is, status word homed, that's an output. We'll double click on that, and when we do that, we'll get our warning that the firmware is running. Do we want to stop it? Yes, we do. And over here, We've got our status word home connected to pin 9. We'll go to X4 pin 10, and we'll assign that to the status word in target position down here. So we'll double click on that. And finally, on pin 11, we'll assign that to our status word error. That output will go true when the Linmont drive is in an error state. So now, to see that work, we'll go back to our control panel, and we'll start our firmware. Yes, we do want to reboot the drive. The firmware will start, and now we will see from the status word that our homed bit is false, but also down here, our output is false as well. So now, if I reach over here and enable the drive and then I home the drive we'll see that the homed output comes true and over here we can confirm that our status word homed bit is true in addition the output for in target position is true which tells us that we're at the position that we want to be. So I'm Jeff Burt. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.